In part one, I saluted our 11 years in Hawaii. In some ways, we are sad to leave but excited to begin a new chapter. We are exchanging saltwater waves crashing on the sandy shore for amber waves of grain and whispering grasslands. Moving our Hawaii stuff back to North Dakota took plenty of planning, packing, and preparations. Our move had many firsts, like shipping a car back to the mainland. God is in control. I leave it to him to manage these difficulties. I write this YouTube script and assemble the images and clips for a good news video of our adventure home. Our new path becomes clearer every day. We completely remodeled the Hawaii home, new cabinets, and trimmed every door and window. I taught myself to trim well in Hawaii and intend to use this new skill in our upcoming barn dominion project at the lake. Our Turtle Mountain home called to us for the last three years. Practically and financially, it made sense to be a one home family and begin the search for a good story by purchasing a small RV in our travels home. We can always return to Hawaii. We have relatives and friends who ask us to come back and stay anytime. I'm sure we'll take them up on their offers. So for now, ahui ho and mahalo. I was stationed in San Diego when I was a teenager in the Navy. Plenty has changed in San Diego, but it's still a beautiful place. I was surprised that it was fairly lax as far as the COVID restrictions, not like Hawaii. We spotted our first possibility of a RV purchase. It was perfect, but sadly not for sale. As a NODAC, I often said we could have a class reunion any day in Phoenix. Half the state leaves for Arizona as snowbirds every winter. Texas is all about meat. But on our way to Austin, we stayed in Van Horn at the Hotel El Capitan. This hotel is worth a stay and plenty of character and food. The evening trains are a bit loud though. We also spotted our next RV possibility. We decided it was a bit rough on the edges. In Austin, we searched every barbecue place we found on Google, Franklin's, Cooper's, but if you don't mind an hour's drive to Lexington, a small meaty hamlet as we did, we had the opportunity to see the queen of barbecue at work, the Obi-Wan of the smoker, Tootsie. Tootsie, Tootsie Tomanes. Snows is more than another Texas barbecue. It is a Saturday event, like a family reunion, and Tootsie's the main star.
We had a short stay in San Antonio for a river walk I had promised to Linda. Then on to Oklahoma City. We found a third possibility for an RV, but sadly, again, it was not for sale. I lived in Oklahoma City on and off for years while attending the Federal Aviation Schools for my job. The snake let evil out that day, and many lives, including children, ended in those horrific two minutes. How can any man kill his brother? Cain drew blood and simply walked away. Finally, we arrived in North Dakota, saw our fourth RV, and an interesting fellow dumping the black tank reminded me of a movie. But then came Lucille. We planned many a road trip in search of stories to share on YouTube with her. Our Turtle Mountain home will be our base of operations for a new photography business model, a storytelling model and to build my videography craft, then begin telling visual good news stories and micro documentaries about great people 